Hi, this is Sonia, and I don't usually do them, well, not lately anyway, but um, I just wanted to do a quick haul post. Um, I went to Chinatown in Philadelphia yesterday and got a couple things, and um, I just wanted to show it so it, it might give you an idea of things to look out for if you're able to go to a place like that. Um, I went to just a generic, um, I guess, Asian stationery store, a Sanrio, and then to a couple dollar stores in the Chinatown area. So I don't think you can order most of this stuff, but I thought I'd show it just so you have an idea. Um, I got these three pens. They're really long and thin, and they're like they're printed with a wood grain, and they're super fine point, um, point five, and uh, blue. I don't like that they're blue, but they're really thin. Um, I'm sorry, really small, so they'll fit in the pen loops, and there's no rubber on them to mess with the elastic grip on the filofaxes that I have, so I am excited about those. They were a dollar each, so they were a good buy, and then um, just a mechanical pencil. I also got this little journal, I guess, and it has some really cute paper, kind of a little emo girl, so I really like them. Um, probably cut all the papers out and put them in my um, A5, but I thought that was really cute, just a couple bucks. And then I got these Hello Kitty stickers. I, I hadn't thought about it when I purchased them, but I, I don't think that they're Sanrio because they don't have the Sanrio brand, but they look right, which is, you know, not normal for off-brand things. And then I went to the Sanrio store and I got a Karomi eraser. It's the Karomi ice cream line, which I think is kind of weird, um, but and a multi pen with Karomi on it. Um, it's okay. I thought it was cute. Whatever. Um, and one thing that really jumped out at me, I don't know where I saw it, but somebody had said they went to San Rio and got um, personal size inserts, and they were on sale. So when I was in the store, I was kind of looking for them, and I found them, and sure enough, they were on sale. And they were three bucks for this whole set. It comes with monthly, undated, weekly, um, some notes pages, lined and unlined, an address section with birthdays, uh, personal information, uh, a set of dividers, business card holder, and zip pocket. And I'm pretty sure that the haul video I saw online that said that they found these and they were on sale was maybe like a month ago or something and I don't remember whose it was. I'll see if I can find it and put the link. But um so just an idea of if you're if you go to those stores things to kind of look out for because um you might be able to find the same thing. So that one was three bucks. This one was six bucks. It wasn't on sale but I love me some Choco Cat so it was I was okay with paying six dollars. Again the monthly, weekly um lined and unlined and personal information set of dividers business card holder and a zip pocket and um, I know this one was six dollars so it's a little bit more expensive but especially for the three dollar one I mean you might pay three dollars for a zip pocket anyway and it's already punched and ready to go for personal size so I was really happy to see that. I got a little Elmo wallet for my daughter's birthday because she loves Elmo. And then wandering into the dollar store, I found these. And um, I was I thought they were really cool. I guess they're some kind of um, maybe Chinese. I, I don't know what kind of character set that is. Um, notebooks for school. They were in the school supplies section with other workbooks. Um, I think maybe they're for practicing your your lettering or something like that but the paper is really thin and crinkly and uh, they were 50 cents each so I thought that I was buying four but I think I grabbed two from the wrong section and um, I didn't open them and that, so they have some kind of characters I guess for tracing because they're written over and over so well, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing with these but um, you know as a scrapbooker paper crafter type person I'm sure that I will find them something super awesome to do with these. So anyway, just an idea of things to look for, look out for when you're in those kind of shops where you, you know, they might not have a set stock and you can find all kinds of fun and interesting things. Have a great weekend. Bye.